Hi, I'm Jill Masters. Welcome to Measured. So there are a lot of cocktail websites out there. Unfortunately, these vary from those with an overstuffed UI to those with overly pretentious content. That's why Chris, Stephen, and I created Measured, a cocktail web app with all of the booze and less of the bullshit. Basically, we provide a curated quality collection of cocktails with easy to use, easy to understand recipes, which you can filter for the ingredients you have, as well as the booze that you like. You probably want to see what I mean by this, so let's jump into the demo. When I arrive on the measured homepage, I get this featured cocktail panel, which changes from day to day. All of our cocktails also have this little badge on them indicating just how many ingredients go in. As I move down the page, there are a bunch of scrollable galleries where I can search our entire collection or look at particular categories that I might be interested in. Personally, I like bitter flavors, so let's see. Never had a 212, and three ingredients sounds damn good to me, so let's check it out. Here we get an overview of the ingredients, which I can toggle the metric if I want to, as well as a plain English method, so that I can make a drink without getting a vocabulary lesson. If I'm interested, I can also find out what glass the drink's traditionally served in, and what garnish to serve it with. If I was logged in as a user, I'd be able to add this to my favorites, but I don't have an account yet, so let's see why I should get one. When I go back to the homepage, I'll be able to search for more interesting drinks to me. So I like Campari, I definitely like Prosecco, and I feel like a refreshing drink today. Let's go find my cocktail. When we arrive on the search results page, these guys are sorted based on my various queries, based on this one, which has the highest relevance, meets all my queries, and a variety of others that meet one or more. This all looks good to me, so let's find out more about measured. Here I get an overview of what the site's about, as well as a gallery of how-tos, so I can see all the features that might appeal to me as a user. By clicking in the icon in the top right, I can open up the sign-in modal. If I don't have an account, I can sign up, but seeing as I already have an account, I can click through to sign in again and log in with Google. This should redirect me back to the home page, and you'll see that I now have the explore my bar option. Here I can see all the ingredients I've saved to my bar, along with what drinks I can make with them. It shows what I can already make, and what I could make if I have one or two more ingredients. I like the look of today's featured cocktail, and I'm only missing one ingredient, and so I can get some grapefruit so I can give that one a try. If I've just bought some grapefruit and I want to add it to my bar, I can click through here to navigate to that category in the ingredients list, and add grapefruit to my bar. Now when I go back, you can see that grapefruit is now on the list of ingredients and the siesta cocktail has moved up to the list of ready to make. If instead I want to discover new drinks and flavour combinations, I can go through to the cocktail builder feature. Here we have some brief instructions on the basic format of cocktail recipes, along with some examples of the most common formulas in the majority of popular cocktails to give you some inspiration. I can cycle through different options for each component of the drink and then see if there's any related recipes. Let's try lemon, campari and gin. I can see if there's a strong match for my favourite combination and also if there are any related drinks that I might want to try out too. I want to try the Enzoni and so I can click into the recipe here. Once I've made the drink I decide I really enjoyed it and so I want to add it to my favourites. Now when I go back to the home page, you can see there's a list of favourites at the top now, and Enzoni has been added. Now I've finished experimenting with a new cocktail, I can log out here and hand over to Chris to talk through our tech stack. The tech stack. On the front end we use React, TypeScript and Chakra UI. Chakra is a component library, uh, we use it for all the design and it helped keep starting universal and allowed for easy transition to making everything responsive. On the back end we use Google's Firebase where we use their Cloud Firestore and Google Auth services. For anyone who doesn't know, Google's Firebase is essentially a cloud managed back end service. 